Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Douglas, and today I'm coming at you with another reaction video. Today I'm reacting to another Dave Chappelle stand up, uh, 3 a.m. in the ghetto. Now, I'm gonna be real, but I love Dave Chappelle and all his comedy, but I never really looked at a whole, like, I never really looked at a whole, like, stand up of his, you know what I mean? So, it's a lot of his stuff that I really just don't know about, and that's, and it's not saying it's boring, it's just, bruh, like, I don't think I ever, I never even looked at, um, I never even looked at Eddie Murphy, um, Delirious, like, and I heard, I know that go crazy, but I never, I never even looked at that, bro, so, like, you know, I get bored way too quick to look at two hours worth of something, I don't even like looking at movies, but, bro, I, Dave Chappelle go crazy, he my top five of, like, comedians, like, of all time, to me, you know what I mean, y'all let me know what y'all's down below. We finna go ahead and get right into the video. If you new, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, drop the intro. Got big dope on us. We the type to fuck the little bitch make her hit that coconut. You ain't DBG, then fuck, but you can't come condone with us. Got that big smoke for that fuck, but that been trolling us. Pull up to my show with all that goofy shit you get in touch. Alright, let's not waste no more time. Let's just get right into the video. 3 a.m. in the ghetto. I got a feeling what this gonna be about. Why you out? Ain't no way I'm outside. <laughs> I'm outside my house. I'm in the morning. It's too much pressure. Unless you're gonna see something. That's my problem. I can't, I can't handle pressure. Sometimes pressure make me talk different. I'm serious. You ever have like that social pressure? You ever talk to somebody who's fake and they make you fake? Like, that kind of be like, hey, how you doing? And you're like, fine, how are you? And you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I don't even talk like that. I get sick of that shit. I do, it just makes me sick. Sometimes I talk crazy just to make myself feel better. You know, do that? Just start talking like crazy. Have you ever heard his voice? Man. That's, that's how bad guys used to talk in the 40s. In the old days. See, I, I talk like that. Not all the time, but if somebody put the pressure on me, fuck it, I gotta. This is so off topic, but in the 40s, that, that's when they used to call people job turkeys. And all that, right? That's probably the 70s. I'm tripping. <laughs> I need, I'm going to start talking like that. I'll call somebody a job turkey. I'm going to start saying that. Wait, I'll police pull me over. I'll talk crazy. Son, son. Do you know why we pulled you over? Nah, because I'm black, see? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I do. It's not illegal to talk like that. How they know I don't talk like that every day? Stop talking like that. Stop talking like white copper. Man. You still gonna get shot. That's how I talk, see? You're getting shot regardless. You gotta make life interesting like that, because the shit is flimsy. Life is flimsy. You, you think you're gonna live forever, yeah, but I'm gonna live forever. Thanks. It's dangerous out here. We know what's going on. Thanks. I travel now, you know. I used to think DC had the roughest ghettos in the country. Nah, nigga. Uh-uh. <laughs> I have seen some shit now. Oh, there's some rough, rough areas yeah. outside of D.C. It's rough all around the world. Yeah, everybody should go to the ghetto. I was taken to the ghetto one time. That's the worst. When you get taken, you're not expecting to go. <laughs> well, you feel like you're getting you set up. You know when you go to the ghetto, like, I'm going to see some wild shit. I got to prepare myself. I'm going to see something crazy. <laughs> when you're taken, it's different. I had a limousine driver. It was after a show, it was late at night, it was like three in the morning. I had a limousine driver, he was a nice guy, talking to me and shit. Oh, hey, where you from, dog? DC, where? That's a rough city, man. I heard about DC. The cell phone started ringing, hold on a second. Hello? Oh, what's up, nigga, what? What the fuck, slow that, what? What the fuck? No! <laughs> nah, but right, but come on, bro. As soon as he said, What? What? Nah, bro, let me out. Uh, Uber. I'm out of the. Um, bro, what, bro? Oh, my. Okay. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. No! Couldn't be me. No! Fuck that, nigga. Fuck it. I'm on my way. You on your way. I'm gone. You tripping. You stayed in the car. You tripping. You tripping. Hey. Where you are. I gotta make a stop real quick. At 3 o'clock in the morning. I didn't know he was taking me to the ghetto at first. I started looking out the window. I was like, what the fuck? Gun store, gun store, liquor store, gun store. Where the fuck he taking me? 
<laughs> See, but I'm, I'm not really paranoid, but I don't trust nobody at all. But I would have, bro. But I would have felt like that was a setup. I love my parents to death, but when they be making turns and like going our rules, I don't know about. I'm asking them, where are you going, bro? Because like, I need help. <laughs> I need help. <laughs> so what's good? He didn't say shit. Just pulled up in front of an old rickety building that looked like a project. Now, I've never been there before. I'm not sure if it was a project, but it certainly had all the familiar symptoms of a project. <laughs> it's a project. A fucking man. crackhead ran this way. I never seen a crackhead. That's crazy. And then, and then another one. I probably did, but I didn't know it was. I probably did see a crackhead. And I said, I'll be right back. And left me. Took the keys with me, just let me. At three o'clock in the morning, in front of a project in a fucking limousine. This was what? not good. Easy. I was like, man, I gotta look around and see if I can see some landmarks and figure out where I'm at. Might have to escape on foot. I'm not running in the ghetto. Now this is when I knew I was in a bad neighborhood. You only see this in the worst neighborhoods. Remember, it's three o'clock in the morning. It's three o'clock in the morning. I look out the window. It was a fucking baby standing on a corner. No, I'm, I'm back. It's not like that down here. Look at this. <laughs> I'm back. It's not like that down here. And no. the baby, the baby didn't even look scared. He was just standing there. I would have been so scared. No, I would have tried to help the baby probably. I mean, it made me sad. It made me sad, really. Good. You know, because I wanted to help the baby. <laughs> well, um, I don't trust you either. I'm sorry. Click. <laughs> facts. 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 That, yeah, facts. That could have been a setup too. baby on the corner trick, eh? <laughs> I'm not going to fall for that shit. <laughs> Where's this limousine driver? You know, I stopped feeling bad. As time goes by, I start feeling worse. Like, man, what is wrong with me? What the hell's wrong? I'm scared of a baby. <laughs> and this baby could be in trouble. He might need my help. I gotta do something. But I wasn't gonna get out of the car. <laughs> I already caught, I already caught that one. I'm serious, man. I just cracked the window a little bit. Bro, if you see, if you see a baby, if you go somewhere you like, you just, you never went before, and you see a baby stand on the corner, nicest person in the world. Are you really getting out the car? I'm, I'm very nice. I'm nice. I, I don't know if I get out the car because I feel like, bro, I, I feel like some like knowing my luck. I go to try to get the baby. Somebody come from behind the baby and just hit me. Or saying, what you trying to do to my baby? Like, bro, I'm I'm not falling for none of that. There's no way I'm getting out the car. That would be the only time I called the car. There's an old limousine. I can roll it down. <laughs> oh, yeah, the old limousine. Nasty. It's still a limo. I'm tripping. Hey, baby. <laughs> baby, go home, man. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. What the fuck are you doing now? He is disrespectful. They would have cussed back. The baby said, I'm selling weed, nigga. I said, oh. It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to buy two bags from the car. I'm going to get two. I'm going to get two cars. Yeah. Support black businesses. Respect. Got back in the car and rolled me a joint, man. So Let me stop talking. About that shit was scary, man. Every once in a while, like a crackhead would come up to the car and look in the window. It was like Jurassic Park, and should he be looking all the car? <laughs> hey, get out of here, cracky. That baby was still standing there, man. Then I start feeling bad again. Yeah, weed make you feel guilty sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> man, what is wrong with me, man? I've just bought weed from a from an infant. I can't condone this kind of behavior. What am I thinking? I can't let the fear ruin my morals. Got to do something. <laughs> hey, baby. Stop selling weed, all right? You got your whole life ahead of you. He said, fuck you, nigga. I got kids to feed. I said, God. Damn. <laughs> God. <laughs> Hey, Sam. Hey, but people really be having kids, like, bro. I'm talking about everybody I went to high school with, either pregnant 
Oh, they got a kid. I'm, but my kids ain't gonna have nobody to play with. Like, just think of my my kids are gonna be lonely, bro. Like, they ain't gonna be going to school with none of the kids. And we all plan. To, I need to have a kid. I'm tripping. <laughs> this, this is that very moment when a crackhead was running across the street and got hit by a car. I know it was a hit and run. He survived. Though. The police did it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. They sprinkled some crack on him and got back up. <laughs> hey man. Hey. Of course, that was another good video. But Dave Chappelle is a goat. You have to. But Dave Chappelle has to be the goat. He has to be in your top. T Dave Chappelle got to be in your top 10 when it comes to comedies, man. But, hey, man, if you enjoyed that video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below what you want me to react to next, and I'm going to make sure I get to it. And, yeah, man, I'm out. <laughs> I be out your guinea, I'm John Weeks without the soup When I shoot, I'm gon' hit you, you and you might flip the coop We gon' find out where your hot out, how you feel about 40 shooters Scrap with hoops, in the bite seat of a rover